High School Braille and Talking Book Library serves patrons of all abilities, but our special mission is to serve people with a print disability. That can be a visual impairment, legal blindness, a physical disability, or an organically based reading disability. We mail audiobooks and braille texts to their houses for free. Every day the post office brings us tubs of items that people are returning. We offer downloadable audiobooks and downloadable electronic braille, but we also do our own recording in our local New York City audio studio. When I was a kid, I was a patron of this library because they served Long Island, and I've been a patron ever since. Oh my goodness, this library saved my life because I'm always ordering books to read in Braille and the audio books. Everything comes to the house. I get 35 of these magazines a month. This is the New York Times, but I get everything else practically on the list. The editorial had something good today. Where did I see it? Oh, here. It's bad for the environment because cheaper oil means fewer incentives to develop alternative sources of energy. I came here for the first time when I was a little girl. And I'll never forget, the librarians were so nice. I had run out of reading material on day two of my vacation because I was a big reader, and they let me take home a bunch of Choose Your Own Adventure books, and they trusted me to mail them back to New York. Take a moment to look around your home screens now. Our technology programming really focuses on reaching everyone, people of all abilities who learn in different ways and at different paces and making sure that it's a comfortable and welcoming environment for people to figure out how assistive technology is going to fit into their daily lives. This is a braille display and I'm reading a copy of Harper's Magazine in a world of hardwired telephones, telephone booths, telephone books, and telephone exchanges. I think it's going to be an article about telephones. So some of our patrons we only ever talk to over the phone or, or email. But we do try to be a community center as well, and we offer programs here for our patrons to come to. We recently had Flo Fox, a photographer who is visually and physically disabled, display her photographs here. She is a radical disability rights activist. I never took a photography course. Never read a book in my life. I have written, I've had stuff published. The only time I ever started listening to books now is because of this. Our readers, you know them by names, and they look at them as family. You get to know the regular readers, and then you introduce yourself, and then you're now part of the family. It seems like I'm always hearing from someone what a difference it makes in their lives, how, how it keeps them sane and it keeps them company. And, and what I'm hoping for the future is that everyone who can benefit from our services finds out that we're here and we're here to help.